Grace and Grandma by Rich Lowe Characters Dad, Mom, Grace Lou, age 8, Wendy Zhang, age 8, Grandma May Setting Chicago, Illinois in the year 2006 Scene 1 It's Monday afternoon. Grace has just come home from school and is talking to Dad in the kitchen of their home. Dad to Grace how was school today, Grace? Grace, it was good, except for Chinese class, as usual. Dad, shh, don't let your grandmother hear you say that. Grace, lowering her voice, I don't know why I have to take Chinese. Dad, yes, you do know why. Everyone in our family speaks Chinese. It's an important part of our heritage. Grace, but you hardly ever speak Chinese at home. Except when you're saying something you don't want me to understand. You know, like, let's make Grace go to bed early tonight so we can have some peace and quiet. Dad, laughing. If you understand that, you must be learning something in Chinese class. Grace, I don't understand the words. I hear my name. And then I can guess the rest from the look on your face. Dad, that means you're pretty bright. Bright enough to learn Chinese. When you do, Mom and I won't be able to keep secrets from you anymore. Grace, that'd be nice, but Chinese is so hard. Our teacher is strict, too. Really, Dad, what's the point? I'm an American. I don't speak Chinese with any of my friends. We all speak English. Chinese is what the older Chinese people speak. Grandma May, entering the room. Older, huh? Grace, hugging Grandma May. I didn't mean it that way. Grandma, I just... Grandma May. It's all right, Grace. I know I'm no spring chicken. She laughs. Grace looks confused. Dad. Spring chicken means someone young, like a chicken that just hatched in the spring. It's dinner time on the same day. Grandma May. That was one of the first phrases I learned when I came to this country. I was a spring chicken back then, just like you are now, Grace. Back then, I didn't want to learn English any more than you want to learn Chinese. Grace, frowning. But you had to learn English to live here. I don't have to learn Chinese to live here. I just want to speak English. I'm going to go do my English homework. Grace picks up her backpack and heads to her room. Scene 2 It's early Monday evening of the same day. Mom has just come home from work. She joins Grace, Dad, and Grandma May at the dinner table. Mom, speaking excitedly, Guess what happened at work today? Dad, Hmm, you discovered a cure for the common cold? Grandma May, We already know the cure. It's Chinese hot and sour soup from Great Grandma Nini's recipe. Dad, True, true. Okay, so what happened? Mom, I met a woman whose family just moved from China. Her daughter is starting at your school next week, Grace. She's just a month younger than you. Grace, what's her name? Does she speak English? Mom, Wendy Zhang, and yes. Her mom says Wendy started learning English when she was two. Grandma May, I'm not surprised. In China, people think it's very important to learn English. Mom, Wendy's grandfather came to America around the same time you did, May. Wendy's dad was born here in Chicago. Grace, I thought you said Wendy just moved here. Mom, yes, her dad went to China to become a teacher. Then he got married, and now the family has come to live in America. You'll help Wendy find her way around school, won't you? Grace, okay, I guess so, but I have a lot to do tomorrow. I don't see why someone else can't. Mom, in a serious tone, Wendy shares your heritage, Grace. I thought you'd be excited. Grace, why should I care about my heritage? Pulls back her chair from the dining room table. I'm not hungry anymore. May I go to my room? Mom nods and Grace leaves the table and goes to her room. Mom, what's the matter with her? Dad, I don't know. Every time we mention the word China lately, she turns into a storm cloud. Grandma May, laughing. She doesn't seem to like the word heritage either. Oh well. Let's not allow this pasta to go to waste. 
She takes the pasta Grace left on her plate. Scene 3. It's later on Monday evening. Grace is lying on her bed, doing homework. Grandma May knocks on her door and peers around the corner. She's carrying leftover spaghetti and salad on a tray. Grandma May. Mind if I come in for a moment, Grace? Grace, sitting up. Of course not. Grandma May. I brought you some leftovers. The pasta is cold, but I know you like it that way. Grace, laughing. True. I guess you've seen me eating straight from the refrigerator. Thanks, Grandma. I'm sorry about how I acted before. I was rude. Grandma May. It's okay. I think I know a little bit about what you're feeling. When I came to this country in 1939, I was the same age you are now. I didn't want to come here. I wanted to stay in China. There, I didn't have to think about being Chinese all the time. Everyone there was Chinese, so I just felt like a person. But here, being Chinese made me stand out. Grace, what do you mean? Grandma May, when my family came to America, we had a difficult time at first. There was so much we had to learn and so many questions we had to answer. Grace, I don't understand. Why was it so hard? Grandma May, well, it's complicated. All ships carrying Chinese immigrants had to land at a place called Angel Island. So that's where my family went. We were frightened. It was all so new to us. Grace, what happened there? Grandma May, we stayed in a crowded building. We had to sleep on bunk beds. I didn't even know what a bunk bed was. I remember they gave us oatmeal for breakfast. I thought it was the worst thing I'd ever tasted. I wanted rice and eggs like we had at home. Grace, I don't understand. Why did you have to stay at Angel Island? Grandma May, the law said that all Chinese immigrants had to go to Angel Island. We were all assigned numbers. When they called my number, I had to go to an interview. At the interview, American officials asked us lots of questions. I remember they asked me strange things like, How many windows are in your house in China? Grace, why would they need to know that? Grandma May, they wanted to make sure we were who we claimed to be. If I said there were 10 windows in our house, and my mother said there were 16 windows in our house, they might think we weren't really related to each other. Of course, I was only eight. I didn't even know how many windows were in our house, but I knew I wanted permission to stay in the U.S. Grace, but they let you stay in America anyway, right? Grandma May, yes. We were at Angel Island for two long weeks. We waited and answered questions and more questions, and we got medical exams. Finally, we were allowed to come to Chicago. We were so excited. Can you imagine? Grace, that's quite a story. You went through a lot to become an American, Grandma. Grandma May. Well, it happened a long time ago. We settled into our new lives here, and after a while, we started to feel at home. I'm just telling you all this now because... Grace, Grandma, I know why you're telling me. It's part of my heritage. Grandma May, I know you don't like that word, but yes, that's partly why. We went through a great deal to make our home here. I'm proud and happy that you consider yourself American, but I want you to be proud of your background, too. Grace, I am, Grandma. It's just that sometimes it seems as though everyone wants me to be more Chinese than American. Grandma May, quietly. We just don't want you to forget that you're both. Grace, I know. Grandma May, I told you about Angel Island for another reason, too. Remember the girl who's starting at your school tomorrow? The one who just moved here from China? Grace. Wendy. Did she have to stay at Angel Island, too? Grandma May. No. Wendy didn't have to go through Angel Island, but coming to live in a new country is always difficult. America is a land of opportunity, but it's still hard in many ways. Take it from me. Grace. You're right, Grandma. I promise I'll help Wendy feel at home in Chicago. It'll be fun. I wonder if she's ever eaten American food before. Grandma May. Probably. American fast food is all over China now. But she's never had Chicago pizza. And as we both know, Grace and Grandma May, together, 
Chicago pizza is the best. Scene 4. It's Monday, one week later. Grace is outside her school at recess. She is talking to Wendy in the schoolyard. Grace. My mom told me you'd be starting school today. I'm glad you're in my class. Wendy. My mother told me about you, too. I almost feel as if I know you already. We are the same in many ways. Grace. Yup. We both have moms who are doctors, and we both have grandparents who moved here a long time ago. Wendy. What is yup? My English is not as good as yours. Grace. It means yes. Your English sounds perfect to me. Anyway, I was born here, so I had a head start. Wendy. Head start? What is that? Grace. It just means I had more time to learn English. I grew up speaking it, but I can't speak much Chinese at all. Wendy. I can help you learn Chinese if you like. Grace. That would be great, and I can help you, um... Wendy, pointing to some students playing a game in the corner of the playground. You can help me understand what those children are doing. Grace. Oh, that's a game called Foursquare. Let's go check it out. Wendy. Check it out? Grace smiles, takes Wendy's arm, and leads her over to the game. Wendy, as she watches the children play. I wonder if our grandparents were in Angel Island at the same time. We should have them meet. Grace, that's a great idea. Maybe your family can come over for dinner some night. I'll ask my parents. Wendy, or you can come to our house. This weekend, my grandfather is making a big Chinese feast. He wants to celebrate our arrival in America. I will ask if your family can come. Scene 5. It's Monday afternoon. Grace has just come home from school. She is talking to Grandma May on the front steps of their apartment building. Grandma May, did you meet Wendy Zhang today, Grace? Grace, yes. She's in my class. She's really nice. She speaks English so well, too. Maybe someday I can speak Chinese that well. Grandma May, smiling. There is an old Chinese saying, Wan shi ka makri tu din. It means, all things are difficult before they are easy. You will learn Chinese if you put your mind to it. Grace, it would be fun to speak Chinese with you, Grandma, and with Wendy, too. Grandma May, I'm glad you have a new friend. She's lucky to have met you. I'm sure she must feel overwhelmed. Grace, she seemed pretty calm for someone who just moved to a new country. I don't think she had to go through the same interview you did, Grandma. Grandma May, Yes, I'm glad she didn't have to remember how many windows are in her old home. Now, when are you going to bring her over for pizza? Grace. Oh, that reminds me. Wendy wants to invite us over to her house. She said her grandfather is making a Chinese feast this weekend. It's going to be a party. Grandma May. Wendy's grandfather, eh? He is the one who came to America around the same time I did. Is that right? Grace. That's him. I think you two might have a lot to talk about, Grandma. Grace winks. Grandma May. I sure hope you're winking because you have something in your eye, Grace. Grace. Maybe. Maybe not. If you enjoyed this book and would like to read other books on the subject, please check the links in the description box below. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.